Data shows that Texas ranks sixth for the worst states for identity theft in the U.S., with bank fraud cases growing 39% in recent years. News 3's Donnie Tuggle spoke to a College Station resident who briefly lost more than $20,000 and shares ways that you can protect your hard-earned money from criminals. Criminals are working extra hard to get what's in your bank account. $12,000 in the form of a cashier's check and $9,650 in cash. Kip Plankinton fell victim to identity theft. Recently, someone posing as him gained access to his money at Aggieland Credit Union in College Station using just his name, birth date, and a fake passport card. With a picture ID that wasn't even my picture, all it had that identified me was my name and my birth date. Aggieland Credit Union told me they sympathized with Mr. Plankinton's frustration and confirmed the incident was isolated and did not affect other members or accounts. They added they are conducting an internal investigation and working with the College Station Police Department to charge the person responsible. The Better Business Bureau says there's no way to completely stop fraud, but keeping an eye on your accounts and acting when you see something unusual helps keep you safe. You know, if you kind of figure it out quickly, you can lock all of your accounts, you can change passwords, you can change debit card numbers, you can, you know, all of this information, you can change really quickly within the matter of a day before they're able to move any further. Acting quickly and calling the bank help Kip stop the cashier's check. When I called Aggie Land Credit Union Wednesday to check on his cash, they acted fast. You made some phone calls and some emails, and lo and behold, I got a call from the credit union this afternoon saying, uh, yes, sir, we've, we're so sorry. We've, we've restored your money to your account. In College Station, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. The incident was caught on surveillance video. We reached out to CSPD for a copy of the footage and an update on the investigation, but have not yet heard back. Congressional.